Let's talk about how we find the coefficients used when applying the binomial theorem to expand a binomial expression. After the first and second terms, how do we know which numbers to plug in as the coefficients to the remaining terms before we get to the second to last and the last terms? These coefficients actually come from the mathematical formula used for counting combinations. The number of ways you can choose j items from n items is calculated n factorial divided by j factorial times n minus j quantity factorial. We can think of this notation with the n over the j in a set of parentheses as n choose j because we are choosing j items from n items. Another interpretation might be n items taken j at a time. Let's practice. What is 4 choose 2? So we're taking two items at a time out of four. How many possible ways can we choose two items from four items? So our two here is the j, and our four is the n, and we'll plug it into our formula. So in the numerator, we have 4 factorial, n factorial, divided by j factorial, and then n minus j factorial. To calculate factorials, you're taking that number and multiplying it by each integer below it. So 4 factorial becomes 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 2 factorial becomes 2 times 1. And then in the parentheses, we have 4 minus 2, so that's going to be 2 factorial as well. In the numerator, we get 24. In the denominator, so far we have 2 times, and then this 2 factorial is also 2, because it's 2 times 1. So this becomes 24 over 4, which reduces perfectly to 6. So in other words, there are 6 ways of choosing 2 items out of 4 items. And again, if you weren't familiar with the factorial symbol, you might want to take a second to write down this definition. Try finding 5 choose 4 and 5 choose 1. Pause the video and see if you get what I get. It's interesting that we got the same answer for both of these. Here we have 5 choose 1 number less than itself, and here we have 5 choose 1. I wonder if we could make generalizations that n choose 1 less than it is always going to be n, and n choose 1 is always going to be n. See if you can prove this. One more fact, zero factorial equals one. Just go with it. So something like five choose zero becomes five factorial over one times five factorial. And you can see that the five factorials are gonna both cancel each other out. And so we get one. So could we make the generalization that n choose zero is one? Check it out for yourself. So now back to the binomial theorem here, we now know how to calculate these coefficients that are within the expansion.